alchemy so today i have an, a video for you sorry about yesterday um which this video is coming out on saturday but i was supposed to film yesterday's um i bought it why have why haven't i used it and i was so excited because i'm on spring break for two weeks so heads up there will be lots of videos coming up so i'm gonna push it i'm gonna film it to, today but it'll it'll show for you guys on sunday okay and then yeah i'm probably gonna do more videos in the upcoming week um there's a video coming up but it's a little bit delay until i get the paint it's a paint that i've been wanting to buy a set so i bought a set and i bought a few others on blick so that that will be arriving soon but for today while drinking my coffee mm, so excited i actually got I bought this little set. It's, it's from, so I noticed that Japan and China all have different versions of Gansai um, paints. Um, like Boku is not the same as Kiritaki. So they all have a variation, right? Um, well, I'm not going to say that. I think Gansai is Japanese. I'm not sure. But I think the Chinese also has is known to the formula. I don't know what this is. A set that I saw early in the year and I was like trailing and that was after I had bought all those three sets of Karataki during December remember that and I showed it to you guys in January so that's when I came across in January with this set through YouTube I actually saw it on the uh, Arte, Arte, Arte Miranda um, website in Spain and then I'm like what's that because I was wanting to get it now I'm not sure if this is the same I was wanting to get from uh, Color Carol on YouTube, another YouTuber from Europe. She got these little Gansai paints, and I think they were they were um, Holbein. These are not Holbein. There's these from Akashia or something like that. So, like I said, this is another brand that makes paint Gansai paints. But I wanted to see if they were similar. So the the Holbein, which they they are on uh, also on Jackson's but i can so what they they're small little half pants and they're super and um once you swatch them they turn kind of like they look like powdery they don't look shiny or watery so i wanted to see if these were the same so i got these on amazon japan and they got they got shipped to me and they they got here uh last week so i'm finally i decided to wait to swatch them for you for today so yeah and they're surprisingly different from the other ones i like the way that it's it's small and compact as you can see look at that so there's 24 and like it's a 24 set into metallic this one broke on i mean on uh on its way here yeah see um it broke and uh that was the only one so they look very similar to i like the fact that they're square though because i feel like it takes less space so they're square see they're square some of them are shiny some of them are not i did notice by the one that broke which is this one they're in numerical order so and then i got this little thing but i can swatch on that so i noticed that when this broke it's actually quite thin so I think this is like a nice little treat, but it, like I said, let's say you need pants and you need like the big ones. I like the fact that they're square. I really do. Um, like I said, the other ones take a little bit of, so I noticed, because it broke, right? How thin, look at how thin, how super thin this is. So it's a nice little treat. It's not like the guns I wear. I don't use the gun side, um, but I want to see how they're like. And if I go through them fast, then that's okay. Because then I could use my own little paint and use these little squares. I think they're so cute, right? I like the variation and everything. So I want to see how these do. Some of them are matte. So like I said, everybody has a variation of these. There was only $23 on amazon uh japan but it's through the u.s one so we're gonna swatch them today and we're gonna swatch them on this handy dandy one that i 
swat now swatching book <laughs> that I use or testing book whatever from uh, so we're gonna probably do it this way oh, I want you to see let me see I don't know how let's see one two three four five six so they don't obviously they don't fit one two three you know I'm just gonna do them like this because I can so you guys are able to see so I'm gonna do like this rows of four so we have six rows six yeah and no um four columns and six rows yeah i'm right so yeah i hope you guys are doing really well um didn't miss me too much i actually have been missing making videos believe it or not you know on at the end of the year i always go on that those like making videos about christmas and all that stuff I think this year I'm going to buy a lot less. Ooh, see, I was, oh, that's why I don't like to drink my coffee. I tend to put the, my paint water on my right side. And I, yeah, I've done that during Halloween. Yeah. So, like I said, we're going to do it like this, okay? So, I'm, I don't have, they have numbers. So, I don't have, we're just going to go over the camera. So, this is like a red. So, I didn't. I didn't pre-wet them either. They're easy to, because I wanted to see. So they are easy to, um, oh, I don't like this color. It reminds me like of blood. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I like them. I, that's why I like it really, really red. Because this, oh gosh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. It reminds me of blood. You know how when like you poke yourself? Yeah, this is how that reminds me. Seems like it's staining because it's staining my brush. It's not completely white, my brush. It's kind of, it's the Da Vinci number eight, Casanel white, but it's kind of like not, not really white. It's a, like, um, like a cream color. Okay, so we got that. So I already, so just by feel they're harder than the traditional kuretake kanzai or even bokunju but once you have to put a lot of water on your brush but once you do that they do glide on the on there they're not i noticed they're not as pigmented as the other two so yeah chances are this is like a nice little treat and you probably will go through them fast that is my plan. I don't, cause I know the boku and do, and they're so pigmented in the kuretake that I don't go. Even if I use them a lot, I don't go through them, especially the moody ones. Yeah. So this is Akashia, also Japanese uh, brand. So and they do they while well, they feel smooth, they do feel a little bit uh, like there is a chalkness to it and that's kind of why i bought them so now we're doing the second row okay guys so i'm just you're just gonna see me so yeah they're a little bit i yeah the pink the formulation is definitely different i could i could actually sense like the chalkness you know how like if you guys do soft pastels and you melt them that's kind of how it feels like that like a little bit of graininess um, and like I said, I wanted to try them because the whole mine has this, like, said that that's what they do. That it's kind of like a powdery. Like, when it dries, it becomes like a, almost like a powdery. It's not like the regular whole mine traditional watercolors. I don't know how to explain it, but a while ago, um, Color Carol, she, she found, like I said, that was really expensive. Ooh. Um, and on Japan, I think it was right after the pandemic. So this one's white. It's not going to show. Oh, it does going to show. So this white is a little bit, I don't know why they added white in the middle. So it got, um, if you see it, it's because they got a little bit of this one on there. So yeah, I, I'm able to see it. Yeah. You guys are able to see it too. So it caught a little bit of that up from the brush. This Da Vinci brushes are really nice. So if you come across any of the Da Vinci, including some of the kids, because they have a kid version, 
do get them i do recommend them they're really good brushes and they're a lot of them are synthetic because they're cheaper um versus like the real ones so i like synthetic brushes i don't really the real ones i sometimes i have an issue with them because they're hard to manage because they don't have that um that tightness so i tend to yeah huh so as you can see that when they're drying they're really mad so i want so it showed on the amazon thing that they were going to be powdery so i don't doesn't look like they're powdery but powdery what i mean is like they'll have like a little white thing on it once they dry but it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like they they will uh yeah but this one yeah you could tell yeah i it um i also didn't want to bite it i waited and waited but i was like hey it went down like three or four dollars hey i'm just gonna bring it I'm just gonna buy it and um because i had so much i haven't since i swatched the karaoke i have not used it and i've been wanting to use my R Nouveau and all of those but I haven't been able to I haven't been doing a lot of painting other than on the weekends and very mm -hmm. minimal because I was like I was like really tired but um this last week when they changed the time it actually kind of I managed to get more sleep usually I get more sleep in the winter but this year winter is almost leaving us this year I kept getting up and I don't like that because I don't interrupt my flow of sleep and I don't know I think I was just conscious I still get up but I notice I do it I go to tend to sleep right away or by that time I already had had um, six hours of sleep I go to sleep really early you guys I tend not to do that because I during the the summer I tend to take naps like an hour like two hour two and a half hour nap oh I like this one I like I like so it is a little bit different as you can see okay so it does see how this one is drying so it does have that little powdery effect even on that white one you can see it that's what I meant like kind of like a chalkiness to it um so FYI like this wouldn't be a set that you would um that you would um um because a lot of people in the watercolor world i'm not one of them because honestly i i really do hate to mix i only mix when i'm when i want to or when i need to basically or when i want to make a new oh by the way i'm gonna make a video because i've been wanting to make um wanting to make like moody colors with really high end um watercolor tubes so that was the reason i bought them back in december which i haven't been able to do um yeah so i want to make some of those with with uh watercolors that i have from uh from what is it the um the two tubes that i have from from the uh, what is the name well i'll show you guys but it's the the pink little powdery thing potter's pink there we go from the two versions that i have from Schminka and the uh not the May Mary Blue. I'm gonna mix a May Mary Blue black with those because I love that PBK. It's like it's so nice. It's like carbon, it's like really hard. So I'm gonna mix like um Potter's Pink because Potter's Pink, believe it or not, it look might look like soft to you, but in the tube sense, ooh, it 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 does wonders. It do, it really does wonders. And I, that's the reason that I bought two versions of Potter's Pink. I like the Windsor and Newton version, which I, I am going to get on a bigger, um, on a bigger uh, two. Oh, by the way, I've been, I have, I bought something that I bought from Cheap Joe since January 30th. They're still waiting, something they're having, I talked to them a few weeks ago online before I went to work. And I was like, hey, I don't want to cancel my order. It was cheap, cheaper than, you know, than normally what it is. I'm just going to tell you what it is right now. They're, they're watercolor sticks, not from Daniel Smith, though. They're from their own brand. 
and those sticks man this is a beautiful color too this is how i like the blue see how how that's why i have a problem with ultramarine because i like these type of blues this one too the one that i just finished watching this one seemed more like ultramarine but these blues are beautiful if i have to make something like that like if i had the formulation i will I like convenience colors. That's why I buy this little Karataki. Because I like the convenience colors. Like I said, I am not a mixer. I mix when I want to. Or when I have to. That's why I buy large enough sets. So I, yeah. I do not like to mix. So. Yeah. See? Sí.